Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad, and in this video I want to talk about reframing inside Microsoft Fabric, what that means when you have a Power BI Direct Lake uh, semantic model. There is a refresh button for it, which is not really refreshing the data, uh, because Direct Lake doesn't support refresh the data. It is a separate process called reframe, uh, but it is under refresh. The setting of that is under refresh. So let's talk about it and see what it is uh, and find it out. Uh, when you have a Power BI uh, direct lake solution on top of a uh, lake house or a warehouse in Microsoft Fabric, uh, it means that Power BI directly reads data from the Delta Lake tables from those Parquet files directly, which means that you don't really need to refresh your data because there is no copy of your data uh, in the Power BI semantic model. It is uh, the Power BI semantic model directly looking at the files which are Parquet files and Delta Lake uh, table files. Now, um, I have separate videos about each of these concepts separately. You can go and check it out, but I'll show um, just a glance of those in this video as well. So let's switch into my screen for a second. So switching into this screen. So as you see in my screen, I have a Power BI, um, I, I have a Microsoft Fabric lake house here. A lake house is basically an object that you can store files as well as the data tables. Inside this lake house, I have um, a bunch of tables. You see, I have date table, customer table, sales table. Uh, some of these are internal to this lake house. Some of them are shortcut from other places. Again, I have a separate video about shortcut. Go and check it out. Uh, each of these tables uh, behind the scene is stored as uh, what we call as a Delta Lake Parquet format. And the reason that you see them with this, uh, with this little triangle beside it, that actually means that it is a Delta Lake format table. Uh, so what this basically means, it means that um, Power BI directly can look at this. On top of this, uh, I have a semantic model, which I'll just go and show it to you in the diagram design. So I'll switch to uh, lineage view. So let's go to lineage view in here, um, which would show that this report that I have is coming from a semantic model. Um, this semantic model is uh, connected to the SQL analytics endpoint of the lake house and the lake house data comes from other places. So this semantic model created on top of that lake house, this is using a specific type of connection called direct lake. What is that direct lake? Let's just open that semantic model for a second. I'll go to the model editor, open data model. This, <clears throat> this is a custom semantic model, by the way. Um, direct lake works with custom semantic model or with the default semantic model, but custom semantic model would give you much better editor as the one that you see right now over here. Uh, so these tables that you see, this blue stripe that you see on top of it basically means it's a dual storage mode. And when I hover on top of these, you see there's a storage mode mentioned direct lake. This is because the data of these tables is stored in that Delta Lake format. As I said, I explained about that in another video. And what that Delta Lake format uh, basically means, it means that if I go to my lake house, one more time, if I go and click on one of these tables and say view files, you see that this table have uh, basically this uh, folder structure. In this folder, we have parquet files uh, and there's a log file. Parquet files are where actually the actual data lives. Um, so they are kind of similar to CSV file, but much more condensed, much more efficient in terms of writing and in terms of reading. And that is why this format is used. And in the log um, table, it is having JSON files that shows information of which Parquet file has been added at what time. So if I click on one of these JSON files, it should have <coughs> it should have timestamps information. So this is like the modification date and time. And this is the new Parquet file, for example, added or if a parquet file has been uh, removed. So this, this basically means that every change you, you make on this data, like the new ETL process that runs overnight, um, it would add some data into this, this might create new parquet file, and as a result, it might also create new JSON file pointing to those new parquet files. And in direct lake mode, um, Power BI directly reads from these parquet files. 
so all of these are nothing to do with that reframing yet. So let's talk about what that reframing means. Direct Lake is saying that Power BI directly reads from this Parquet file, which basically means that I don't really need to refresh my semantic model. Uh, everything would get automatically refreshed, which means if I have a Power BI report like, like this report that I have over here, mm, going to that particular report, let's say. Um, so if I have a report like this, uh, and if the data behind the scene changes, I should see the change impacting on this report. This report is at the moment set on automatic page refresh. Uh, as soon as the data change, I should see this. Uh, it's not always like instant. Sometimes it takes some seconds and things like that, but it is uh, refreshing without you need to refresh your semantic model. However, the subject of this video is, um, is the reframing. So if I go to that semantic model, under that semantic model, if I go to the setting, of the semantic model, you'll see this option, which is um, on the refresh. And it is this option. So keep your data lake up, direct lake up to date. It is called as a refresh, but this process in fact is not a refresh. This is what we call as reframing. Uh, so what reframing means? Uh, when Power BI creates that connection, the direct lake connection to Parquet file, it reads directly from the Parquet file. But those Parquet file might get um, out of date as soon as a new change happened. Like it might, like the new ETL process might run and a new Parquet file might have generated, but the Power BI is still looking at the old Parquet file. Uh, in order for Power BI to understand which new files it should consider for its analysis and uh, this process is called reframing. So reframing basically means that Power BI considering the new files, not uh, loading it in anywhere, not copying it in anywhere, uh, basically just looking at those to, to build the reporting analysis based on that. Uh, it's not really refreshing the data. And how it does that, basically from that JSON files, if you remember that JSON file has this information that for example, this new Parquet file is generated uh, at this timestamp. So Power BI basically just need to get that kind of information from the JSON file and go and get the most up-to-date set of Parquet files to show you that. This is the setting that uh, reframing or refresh means. Now, usually it's a good thing to have it on. Why would you need to have such a thing off? Basically, the, the main reason you might have something like this off is if you have, uh, like one of the scenarios is that if you have a really long um, ETL process, uh, like 40 minutes, an hour, or something like that, it runs in the middle of the day, uh, some of your tables get loaded, some of your tables are not loaded yet. In the middle of that, if someone look at your reports, uh, half of the data is loaded, half of them are not loaded. So the reports might show some incorrect numbers. They might not be really uh, reliable at that point of the time. You might prefer for every table to be loaded first and then refresh your semantic model or in this case reframe your semantic model. Uh, so that is the situation that you might go and turn this off. And if you turn this off, then you can <clears throat> then you can run this semantic model refresh through any process. This can be a semantic model refresh that you add inside the um, <clears throat> data factory pipeline as a process after running your data flows. At the end, you add a um, semantic model refresh, and that would refresh your uh, your semantic model, which <clears throat> basically is reframing, not refreshing. Uh, so I hope this helped you to understand what the reframe means in Direct Lake and how it is different from refresh. Uh, what are the situations you might keep it on? What are the situations you might keep it off? If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye.